Hi everyone, Alice Zhao here. One question I get asked a lot by beginner data scientists is which machine learning algorithm should I use for my data science project? And this is the way I structure my thinking. I always start by asking myself the question, am I trying to predict something or not? If I'm trying to predict something, then I'm gonna go with a supervised learning approach. And if I'm not trying to predict something, then I'm gonna go with an unsupervised learning approach. Now let's say I'm going with a supervised learning approach, so I'm trying to predict something. Then the next question I'm going to ask myself is, am I trying to predict something continuous or categorical? If I'm trying to predict something continuous, so something with a wide range of values such as house prices or number of sales, then in that case, I'm going to go with a regression algorithm. And the most popular regression algorithm is linear regression. So I'm going to start with a linear regression, see how that performs. If that doesn't do well, then I'll move on to other regression approaches, such as regularized regression. So that includes algorithms such as ridge regression, lasso regression, and so on. Now let's say I'm not trying to predict something continuous and I'm trying to predict something categorical. Then in that case, I would use a classification algorithm. So predicting something categorical is like predicting a zero or a one. So predicting if an email is spam or not, or predicting whether a customer will buy or not. In those cases, the most popular classification technique is logistic regression. It's simple and powerful, and it's also highly interpretable. So I would start with a logistic regression, see how that performs. And then from there, I would try other approaches such as tree-based models, including random forest, gradient boosting, and so on. Tree-based models work really well for classification problems. They perform really well, so I would highly recommend trying them out. Okay, so there you have it. If you're trying to predict something, then go with a supervised learning approach. For regression, linear regression and regularized regression are really powerful and popular. And then for classification, logistic regression and tree-based models are again, really powerful and popular. Okay, now let's move on to unsupervised learning. So if I'm working on a data science project and I don't want to predict anything, then I'm going to go with an unsupervised learning approach. So from here, I'm going to ask myself, am I trying to group things or am I trying to reduce features or reduce the number of columns? If I'm trying to group things, or in other words, cluster things or segment things, then in that case, I'm going to go with a clustering algorithm. And the most popular clustering algorithm is k-means clustering. So I would start by trying k-means clustering on my data, see how that works out. And if it doesn't work out well, then I would try other clustering approaches, such as hierarchical clustering, db scan, and so on. Now, finally, if I'm trying to reduce my number of features, so let's say I have 10 columns and I'm trying to reduce that into two columns, then I would go with a dimensionality reduction approach. So in this case, I'm not saying you have 10 features, you're just gonna X out eight of them and then you have two features. What I'm saying here is you have 10 features and then you create two features from those 10 features that have some meaning and it captures the essence of those 10 features. So in that case, the most popular dimensionality reduction algorithm is principal component analysis, or PCA. PCA is always my go-to. That's what I always start with. And if I'm using dimensionality reduction as a data visualization technique, then the next thing I would try is something called TSNE. And if I'm using dimensionality reduction for text data or natural language processing, then I would actually go with a topic modeling technique. So topic modeling techniques are used when you have a lot of text data or a lot of documents and you want to find the topics within those documents. That's another form of dimensionality reduction and popular topic modeling techniques are LDA, which is latent Dirichlet allocation and NMF, which is non-negative matrix factorization. And there you have it. This is the workflow I use every time I start a data science project to figure out which machine learning algorithm I should use. This is something that really helps me structure my thinking and I hope you incorporate into your workflow as well. Again, my name is Alice Zhao from Maven Analytics and I hope to see you again soon. Music